Many small businesses have bank accounts with APSA Bank Limited, which is one of the largest commercial banks in South Africa and a big player in the African banking sector. I'm going to show you how to connect APSA Bank feeds with Sage Business Cloud Accounting. By linking your business APSA account for bank feeds, your bank transactions will automatically import to your banking section, saving you an enormous amount of time and cost. After watching this video, as an APSA business client, you will hopefully be able to assess whether these bank feeds with Sage is a viable option for your business. I have logged into Sage and here I am at the workspace area, which has the heading what do you need to do today? For me, the easiest way to navigate in Sage is by using the top navigation menu. To find a place where you can make this direct bank feeds link, scroll up to banking in the top navigation menu, then down to transactions, go to the right and then down to the last item on the menu, which is manage bank feeds click on it. You are now on the screen where you manage your bank feeds. You are able to link more than one bank account for bank feeds and you can also make direct bank links to different banks other than only APSA. Let's look in more detail at the screen. Once your bank account is linked, its details will appear in this section. You can see the hidden number displayed, but right beneath it, it says last refreshed, not linked. This is telling you that you do not have a bank account linked for bank feeds. Once your APSA bank account is linked to Sage, you will have to tell the system to which cash book this bank account can be identified with in your set of books. Or, to put it differently, to which account this bank account's transactions must be recorded to. You make this link to a bank account cash book at the right side under Accounting Bank Accounts. Still at the right, under Accounting Bank Accounts, you can specify the starting date from when bank transactions must be brought into your site's bank account. You stay in control of how bank feeds are managed in this section with the header refreshing bank feeds you have two options the first option which is the best route to take in my opinion is that your bank feeds will automatically refresh when you or any other invited user log into your company or with the second option you can manually refresh your bank feeds after you have logged into your company the manual refresh option has certain limitations depending on your bank and is definitely the least desirable option to take because the whole point of this exercise is to save time and to continue with manual work and also to remember that you actually need to do this digresses from the purpose of simplifying and speeding up your business. Next, move your cursor down below the heading Add another bank feed to the blue writing. Click here to add another bank feed and click on it. You are now on the Add Bank Feed screen. As an APSA bank account owner, you can ignore the Netcash option and select Sage Bank Feeds. Netcash is an amazing debit order and payment gateway that also directly links to Sage. And for more information about Netcash, you can visit the Fun Accountant's website. On your Sage Bank Feeds selection, it is telling you that with the bank feeds, Sage regularly checks your online APSA business bank account for new activity and then downloads transactions automatically. After doing this link myself, I can tell you that this check and downloading of transactions actually happens once every day. Click on the continue button. You are directed to the Sage Bank Feed Terms and Conditions page and you have to accept these conditions as the business owner or 
the representative of the company. You can read these terms and conditions on your own time. I'm going to tick and accept the conditions and then click on continue. The next step is to choose OPSA from the banks listed. The bank feeds are available for the following South African banks, FNB, but only when you have a business profile. Currently, private profiles do not work with the bank feeds and hopefully it is something that Sage is addressing. Standard Bank, NetBank, Capitec and lastly, APSA Bank account, which we select by clicking on the button with the APSA logo. On the next screen, you are prompted with what is needed to connect, which is, firstly, your APSA sign-in credentials that you use when you log into APSA, and secondly, the start date for downloading the bank transactions. To be noted is that certain banks have a limit of only going back for 90 days. Press on the Continue button. Here you enter your APSA login credentials, which is your bank account number, your user ID and password, then click on the Submit button. A link between Sage and APSA will now be established as Sage is retrieving your security information. To be noted is that you can only download transactions from APSA and that you cannot perform payments. If you are concerned about the security features, please have a look at the terms and conditions and maybe contact the Sage support team before you do this. The bank feed is the solution that I use and prefer above importing of bank transactions, which is definitely faster than manual capturing of data, but less convenient than bank feeds. If you find that you are waiting for a long time, note that this can happen, as in my case, it took a few minutes. I actually fast forwarded the video until the link was established. The next step is to select the business bank account that you would like to connect to, considering that you can link more than one APSA account at a time. For this purpose, I'm going to select one bank account ending with 2955 and then press on the continue button. In the date field, you have to set the date from when you want to download transactions by selecting the date in the calendar. Click on confirm. If you are happy with your date, click on finish. Your bank account is now connected and you will get a message from Sage that the transactions will be downloaded when your bank authorizes the feed. Click on finish. We have established a connection between APSA and Sage, but we still need to tell Sage to which cash book this account must be linked to. That will be our next step. As discussed before, on the right hand side of your screen, under the heading Accounting Bank Accounts, click on the blue sentence Choose an existing bank account. If you haven't set it up yet, don't be concerned, you can do it as well in the next step. In the Bank Account field from the drop down list, you can see the linked bank account name ending with the numbers 2955. My cash book had been created before I started the bank feed linking process. You select the specific bank account that you want to link to your cash book and then click the save button at the bottom. I am going back to the bank feeds menu to see whether this link was successful or not and for that you go to the top navigation menu to banking down to transactions move your cursor to the right to banking and then down to manage bank feeds you can see that my bank account is linked and appears in the list of linked bank accounts if you go to your bank transactions fields you can update your bank feeds as well 
you find your bank transactions under banking transactions and then click on banking it is too early to refresh the bank feeds now but I'm going to do it anyway by clicking on the refresh now section I get the message bank transactions are normally available for download to Sage accounting within 24 hours of your initial setup your bank account has not been activated yet please check back soon if you get this message it indicates that the download has not been completed and I guess the only thing to do is to be patient and wait for the download to finish. It should happen within 24 hours. If not, there must be something wrong with the feed. In that unlikely event, I would suggest that you make contact with site support. Well, congratulations on making it right to the end of this video about how to connect apps or bank feeds with sites business cloud accounting i hope you found this video helpful